Anil, can altered states of consciousness induced by psychedelics, meditation, even hypnosis, can those give us insights into the nature of consciousness? There's a huge interest in these altered states like psychedelics, hypnosis, meditation, and so on. I think they're extremely valuable for consciousness research, but we have to be a little bit careful about where we identify that value. That valuable in, in the first sense, which is that if you want to understand how a system works, you can tweak it in different ways yeah. and to see what it's capable of, to see what it does. And there's something quite remarkable about, let's take psychedelics, that somebody ingests a small amount of a particular substance, we know where it binds to in the brain, so this happens, and then conscious experience changes completely. I mean, this is a very powerful experimental tool that we have. Meditation, Hypnosis can also do these kinds of things. I think the worry is when we take the nature of the experience itself as an insight into how things really <laughs> are. Right? If we have, let's say, a psychedelic experience and say, ha-ha, the nature of my experience is that I'm one with the universe right. and therefore panpsychism is true or something <laughs> like that. I think that is the worry, that's the danger. What these experiences can give you is insights into the kinds of experiences that are possible and the assumptions we may have been making about how experience has to be. So and, it, and, it may be that, that like the experience of self. And also that the chemicals, when they bind to certain uh, um, neurochemicals uh, and either stop them from being uh, synthesized or make them not be uh, eliminated, uh, that is, and, and that changes the, the phenomenology, that's an insight to what causes the phenomenology. The problem I have is when people then say that gives me uh, uh, the, the vision of, of, a, of an ultimate reality beyond me. Absolutely. So from a materialist perspective, psychedelics do exactly what you think they might. You, know, you make a material change in the neurochemistry <laughs> yeah. of the brain yeah. and your consciousness changes. Right. Uh, and what, what kind of insight does the experience that you have give you? No, it doesn't tell you how things are in fundamental reality, whatever <laughs> that is. But yeah, it may tell you that, oh, I've always assumed that the experience of being a self with a first-person perspective is always essentially necessarily there in any kind of phenomenology. Mm. And these experiences might reveal, well, that's actually not true. You know, it's possible to be conscious without any kind of sense of self. That would be an experience of ego dissolution. Mm. So yes, very, very valuable, but we have to be very careful about the conclusions we draw.